Hello, my name is Mike Moyer, author of Slicing Pi, and I want to talk about this Quora question using the new Pi Slicer software. This question is from Kimberly Mitchell, who asks uh, this question. I'm going to paraphrase it a little bit. My co-founder and I have invested 18 months in a startup, my idea, Kim's idea, and she wants out now. How much equity is she entitled to? You've both worked the same amount, 50-50 equity. Your co-founder has also invested $15,000 in cash. The idea came from you, and you're not in a position to put in cash. And the co-founder wants to continue, but you need a steady paycheck. What are your options at this point? So according to the rules of slicing pie, uh, I'm going to assume that you've been a good employee with some good contributions, and you're going to be protected with a loyal employee clause. The loyal employee clause will protect you for a certain amount of months, protect your equity for a certain amount of months you've already put in. So I'm going to call this a six-month loyal employee. For those of you familiar with slicing pie, you'll know exactly what I mean. Hopefully Kim will familiarize herself because this is the most fair way to divide up equity in the world. So in this case, we're going to protect her first 12 months of equity, and she's going to forego, she's going to be penalized her last six months of equity because she's leaving for no good reason. She's leaving for her own reason. Maybe a good reason for her, but not for the company. She's leaving the company in the lurch. So what I would recommend that she stays somewhat involved. That way she can maintain her equity. But I'm going to assume she's walking away and not doing anything else. So that means that 2,000 hours out of a 2,000 hour year, so 18 months would be 3,000 hours. 2,000 hours is one year. So we're going to protect one year of her equity, 3,000 hours of her co-founder's equity, plus the $15,000 cash you put in that was not accounted in the original split. 50-50 splits are always a bad idea no matter what you're doing. Unless you're putting in, unless it's all cash, and you're each putting in equal cash. But for purposes of bootstrapping, 50-50 is always a nightmare. So I have set up a pretend company called Kim's Company on the, on the Pi Slicer software. Here's Kim, the CEO, and here's Kim's partner, the employee. So we're going to add time for her and add one year which is 18 months less six months lost. This means her penalty is going to be six months of equity. So that's going to be 2,000 hours and then I calculate slices. So there's 200,000 slices in this pie and that's because you look at the settings where I'm pretending that she makes $100,000 a year, which is a logical CEO salary for a bootstrap startup. And incidentally, because they're the same, I'm also set a fair market salary for $100,000 for her employee as well. So her employee has put in 18 months with no penalty because she's sticking with the company. So that's 3,000 hours. Calculate her slices. There they are. Plus, she's put in expenses of $15,000. And that gives Kim 35.71% of this pie and gives her partner 64.29% of this pie. That means the current split is basically 65% for Kim's partner and 35% for Kim. Now, Kim's partner has to replace Kim. So let's add a new person. Add a team and we'll call it Kim's replacement. Put in Kim's replacement email. And I can give her a fair market salary of $100,000 too. So now I've added Kim's replacement because we're going to re replace her. And let's pretend on day one Kim's replacement hasn't done anything, but let's pretend we're going to flash forward a year and Kim's partner and Kim's replacement have continued contributing to this company. Kim's replacement's put 2,000 hours in, Kim's partner's put 2,000 hours in, and let's pretend that Kim's partner spent another $15,000 as well. So let's add time for Kim's partner, 2,000 hours for the next year. Now you can track this on a daily basis or a weekly basis or however you want. And then I'll put in another $15,000 in expenses. I'm glossing over some of these details, but you should always make sure your, your details are set. And we're going to put in Kim's replacement in time only for 2,000 hours, which is the number of hours in a year at $100,000 a year. So what's happened here is now the pie has balanced itself out again. So Kim's partner has 60%. Kim's replacement has 19.61%, which is the same as Kim, who put in 2,000 hours early on. So even though Kim was in earlier, her bet doesn't next because she walked away, she's, she's lost some of her equity. So what slicing pie does is it allows you at any given time 
to calculate exactly how much equity each person deserves. It makes it really easy to add or subtract people, and it makes it really easy to know exactly what's going on in your pie. So I encourage Kim to look at the Slicing Pie software and continue to use that because it will always give her and her partner exactly what they deserve. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.